an historic flight. It's the first time ever that an aircraft, commercial aircraft, has flown 100% sustainable aviation fuel. I am so glad. It feels absolutely amazing to be able to stand here and watch one of our airplanes land here uh, behind me with filled with 100% uh, biofuel for the first time in the world that a commercial flight does so. This morning was like the day I was like, Jesus, what are we doing? Are we writing history? fantastic to be able to start the project and see it through so quickly. I, I've been waiting so long for this day, so it feels really, really marvelous that we are here. We produce a SAF through you know, sustainable feedstock. So what we do in, in, in basically is breaking up the hydrocarbons of fats and you know, waste materials. And we put them together for looking as much as possible the, the fossil component. Uh, from flight crew, there is no uh, differences. When we look at the engine parameters, it is uh, what we say normal. So for a standard crew, using 100 SAF, it will be, uh, I would say, a standard operation as soon as it will be certified. That is uh, the starting point that will be bringing us uh, in our plan to certification of the ATR with 100% biofuel by 2025. As part of ATL's low carbon strategy, we set ourselves um, targets and an action plan for both ATL's direct emission and indirect emissions. And SAF will be a major pillar for both our own uh, internal flights, I mean, performed by ATR, but also for the, all the flight performed by our customers. I mean, right now, as you know, you can only blend up to 50% SAF with uh, fossil fuel and that's something we want to challenge. And to have 100% SAP, we need to produce more SAP as well. So I think that's sort of our part also, to, to increase our capacity. We're going from 100,000 tonnes per year this year to 1.5 million tonnes. We decided to embark on a very aggressive sustainability route and, and to become the first uh, net zero airline. We're moving forward with the 100% Sustainable Aviation Goals certification and I invite all people that have uh, the willingness to change their future, to be vocal, to stand up and promote sustainable aviation fuel as a way to incentivize sustainable aviation. Mm -hmm.